Alexa, ask Bose to play preset one. Alexa, ask Bose what song is playing. Alexa, ask Bose to play everywhere. the moment. Moments on the edge of our seat. Experience the revolution in wireless home theater. Experience Enclave. guys, Mike from Rockville, and today we're going to be talking about how to set up your home theater system with your TV through the optical input, and what to do if you don't hear any sound coming through it. Let's get to it. Now in this specific case, we are using the HGS 56 5.1 home theater system, but everything we're going to talk about in this video is going to apply to other home theater systems or any of our other products that have optical inputs. Now on top of having a home theater system that features an optical input, you're also going to need an optical cable for this setup, so make sure you have one available. Now when setting up a home theater system with your TV, it is important to know a little bit about your TV. A general rule of thumb is that if your TV is 2007 and older and it has an optical port, that optical port cannot be used for audio output. But if your TV is 2008 or newer and it has an optical port, in most cases you can use this optical port for audio output. You just have to check the specs on your TV and make sure that the optical jack can be used for audio output. Now the actual optical connection in a TV setup is very easy to do. You're going to take your optical cable and on the optical output on a TV, you're going to take this end and plug it right into the TV. You're going to know that your optical cable is working because the other end will illuminate, letting you know that you're getting signal from the TV. And then with the other end of the optical cable, you're going to plug that right into your HDS 56 or other home theater system right where it says optical audio input. Now a quick side note is that some TVs have optical as a form of inputting signal into your TV. That's not what we want to use here because we're actually trying to send the audio signal from the TV to our home theater system. So you want to make sure on your TV that you're actually plugging the optical cable where it says audio out or audio out. Now once you have the optical cable connected from the TV into your HDS 56 or home theater system, the next step is to put your home theater system or HDS 56 into the optical mode, which you can do either with the included remote by pressing the input button until it says OPT, or on the HDS 56 specifically, you can press the center jog wheel, which will change the mode until you find optical. Now let's talk about your TV settings. Most TVs require you to go into the menu of the TV and change the audio settings so that you're actually outputting audio through the audio and optical out. In most cases, you do this by going into the audio settings or sound settings of your TV and make sure to change it from TV speakers to audio out. This is basically telling the TV to send all of the sound to the home theater system instead of playing it through the TV speakers. Now this is an important step because if you skip the step and you have your home theater hooked up properly to your TV with the right cables, but you don't go in and change that setting, you're not going to hear any sound coming through your home theater system. Another setting that you're going to have to change in your TV sound setting is what mode your TV is actually audio outputting, either PCM or Bitstream. Now that might sound a little confusing, like what's the difference between PCM and Bitstream? Well PCM allows your TV to send a stereo signal to your home theater system, while Bitstream allows your TV to send other formats like 
Dolby and surround sound formats to your home theater system in 5.1. This is super important because if you have PCM or Bitstream not selected and you have PCM off, you're not going to hear any sound coming through your home theater system like the HTS 56 until you select one. And now with everyone watching content on different apps like Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, a lot of things are going to be mixed in stereo which means you want to be on that PCM mode, but certain shows are actually going to be mixed in 5.1 which means you're going to want to select a Bitstream mode like Dolby Atmos or some other form of surround sound to make sure you're hearing sound through your home theater system. So depending on what app you're watching on and how it's mixed, you might have to select between PCM and Bitstream. So hopefully you found this video helpful on how to connect a home theater system like the HTS 56 to your TV through optical. But again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support tech team through phone or email. As always guys, I'm Mike from Rockville. I'll see you next time.